I would like to welcome Sick Puppies into the studio. So everybody, let's what up? Yeah, very what nice. Up? Very nice for coming in after doing the show last night at Speaking Rock. I noticed, uh, hello, Emma, how are you? I'm good, how are you? This is Emma and Zai. That's How's, correct. How good's that? That's good, I like All right. that. We've got Mark Goodwin on drums. Hello, yeah. Mark. What's going on? Good to see you. See you. And uh, kind of the newcomer, this is Brian Scott on vocals and guitar. Hello, hello, Brian. Hello, what's going on? Tell me a little bit, Emma, about the album called Fury. Uh, yeah, it came out a few days ago. It's called Fury, and it's basically the... Probably one of the heaviest albums that we've ever done. Uh, we had a lot of people come up to us last time and, and was like, you know, after we released Connect and they were like, what about the heavy stuff, you know? And so we heated that and this time around we just went all out and, and, it, and it's heavy. And then uh, with Brian Scott coming in, it's been a breath of fresh air and uh, just basically a shot of adrenaline into the band. All right, let's talk about this for a second. The uh, the elephant in the room, as it were. Brian is the lead singer. <laughs> there's me. There's been a there's been a lineup change. You may you may talk about that as much or as little as you want to. Emma, what what sure. what's going on here? Well, yeah, Brian Scott is our new lead singer, uh -huh. and um, this all happened about about a year and a half ago uh, after we put out the statement. He hit me up on Facebook actually and sent me a video, and there was a few people you know sending you know, like the numbers and videos and a whole bunch of different stuff. And Brian stood out because of his voice, like just plain and simple. So you, Brian, you approached the band and expressed some interest in, in doing, in working with them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just like she said, instantaneously after they made an announcement about the lineup change, I just, uh, I was Facebooking driving, which you shouldn't do kids. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, saw that statement, freaked out, hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm like, I have to do this. This is what I'm looking for. Went right home, sent Emma a video, like she said, and uh, a couple more after that. But I mean, before I even knew it, I'm going out to LA and jamming with these people, and it was it was such it happened so fast, you know, in, in the scheme of things, and it, it really really worked out. It's it's crazy. It's been a crazy ride ever since. Other than the the heaviness of the album, the heaviness of the songs, is there any other meaning behind Fury? Is uh, what is Fury significant of as far as the title? Oh, goes? absolutely. Um, it's pretty much um, kind of self explanatory, I guess. Like we were all feeling very frustrated and very on edge, and there was a sense of urgency for us to come back because you know everyone was like, oh, what are you going to do? I don't know if it's going to be the same and all that kind of stuff. And we kind of channeled all of that energy. And, and, you know, Brian came in and he had something to prove. Mark and I had something to prove. So the conglomerate of that was just that raw energy. And then when you listen to the album, um, Fury is the perfect title for it. Let me, uh, Mark is going to be over there on like the uh, drum kit here in just a second. Say, talk to me again, Mark, for just a second. How are you doing, Yo, Mark? What's going on? Are you Australian? I am not. Oh, thank God. I thought you lost your accent. And I was going to say, I don't want to say Sometimes I say, I say that like, oh, yeah, I'm, fr I'm just lost it. But oh, no, I Emma's think. the only remaining Australian now. So, Okay. Uh, You're from the good old USA? Yeah, yeah. LA, LA, LA area. We're, we're all in LA now. And uh, yeah. Okay. Just, uh, Brian, you are... Texas boy. Texas boy. Houston. Oh, Houston. I was going to mention, and I was going to tell you, like, I think your Australian guys do not keep their Australian hats. <laughs> it's like well, they've been, been watching too accent. many American movies or something yeah, going right. on here. Uh, Anybody here? You ever eaten kangaroo tail? Uh, you know what? I think Mark has. I haven't. Have you? Kangaroo tail? You've, you've had kangaroo. I have a you? friend good, yeah. who says that it's like the best meat ever. And mm -hmm. I said, and she's from Australia. I said, you got to be kidding. They're adorable. And she said, no, no. They're like rodents down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they can fight, too. <laughs> yeah, they... I've never eaten anything that tried to box back with me. Right? <laughs>